Welcome to another teardown video. <laughs> I don't know what I should call this, really. But this is old tech. I think this is real leather. Yeah? Wow, look at that. We even got... Oh, let me get this out. Test wires. And yes, this is four millimeter bananas. And we even got, wow, look at that. So there's a manual of some sort where it explains exactly how to adjust the zero and then adjust open and then the different Measurement multiply by 10 or 100. So we've got 1, 10, and 100. And a 1 cell battery as well. And what? It's just the same again, right? So what is this then? Let's see if we can figure out how old this is. Maybe there's something on this paper wow look at that yes what kind of luck is that this is a where they explains every detail Ooh. so this is what it's called so this is from 1963 so this is a wire tester called triom so it's supposed to measure electrical resistance in and uh, like isolation and la 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 la. Voltage source is in the battery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> really? I need. Oh, this is cool. They even say that they suggest that you can buy this battery in your local bicycle dealer. I love this. I think I should scan this and maybe include some pictures of this in this video. Maybe I could do like this, so you can read this. It is absolutely fantastic. You can pause the video and then you can read it. Otherwise, I will, of course, see if I can reproduce this in a better style la 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 make a ohm and whatnot but let's look at this thing wow 1963 wow Ooh. and we've got all sorts of little so here it's 66 so this manual is from 63 got some screws and this is the A little offset and those are the banana plugs and this is the battery I hope there is not a battery in here because that will be really really bad so maybe what is this number maybe this number is the employee number or whatever number this number is not no it is not so there's also a scale, and then we have the, okay, that will be the three different, oh, this is really difficult to, no, okay, now it works. Aha! So it says here actually 10, it's difficult to read, 100, and 1. Oh, there's a little glass in front of it. Wow, that is really cute. And those... That will be ohms. It's really beautiful. I think we're gonna go and find a battery and put in. And see if this works. 
I did not expect that. Somebody put in a tiny little cell and it measures 1.2 volts. So this is probably a rechargeable. It is not the right size. It just goes in here. And then there's obviously a contact. Maybe this is all right. Let's see what happens. What do you know? It actually works. So I put it in scale 100. Bing. <laughs> that is really cool. So it seems to be working. Let me try and put on both of the wires and let's try and measure something. All right, so let's try this is one kilo ohm. Let me just try and hold it like this. Hmm. Yeah, okay. So maybe this is supposed to be zero here, right? Okay, let me try the next scale is 10. Again, one kilo. Ooh, you see, 100 times 10 is a thousand. Hey, look at that. So if this is, okay, great. So that is one kilo, that works. Let me try another thing. So this is 10K. Oh yeah, look at that, 1K times 10 and of course we should try the times 100 now because now it is a 10k so it should go to 100 isn't that amazing it works all right so let's see what is inside i guess only three resistors right so let's have a look Just unscrew this little thingy real fast. And I think this is not plastic. I think this is uh, another much more fascinating material. I think this is called bakelit. I don't know what it is called in English. Bakelit is called the same. But it is a something they used before. Plastic, yes it is definitely. It's a lot more fragile. Ooh, it is, oh, it's falling apart. All the screws fell on. Something is not right. I got something that is sticky sticky down here. I'm not supposed to pull. Hey, how am I doing this? It is sticky up here. Up. Because I really don't want to break it. Ah, oh, there's the screw. So that is what happened. So there was just a screw. Oi. Wow. That is really, really cute. So they sanded it to make it real good. Don't you just like this switch and the indicator? So we got three wires. Oh, there's a resistor. And then maybe we can show it like that. But I was expecting three resistors. Maybe there's another one. Battery connection. But there's only one resistor. Really? And then we got the two bananas, and oi, look at this. This is the adjustment. It is done by shorting the magnetic field. I have never ever seen 
anything like this before. And this is why I love people that gives me all sorts of funny, funny things for tearing up. Look at that. Have you ever seen anything like this before? So this is the magnetic field in the middle right here. And if you short this, of course, we'll change the behavior of this meter. Look at that. You can have, oh, I can feel. Oh, it's, it's really feeling like a magnet. So where is the magnet? We. There was a strong magnet here. <laughs> well, well. Okay, I found the other two resistors. So we got some resistors in here. Then there's a three one here. One, two, three resistors because we got three different ranges. Yes. So it's very, very close to what I said. But as always, there is something that I didn't figure out. What is this? So this is a measuring point where you can grab a connection to this one. I really like the way that they made this. It is really, really beautiful. Okay, they're, they're just... Uh, okay, they're locked in by this little metal that goes in a little gap. So this is just how it's locked. Doot, doot, done deal. And this is how everything is kind of locked. See? Everything just falls out of place when it's not assembled. Okay, there's probably... Yeah, okay, there's a screw here. If you crack this open, there'll be a screw that holds this and then two screws to take out the switch. But yeah, I think this is all... I wanted to show about this fantastic little ohm meter. Thank you so much for watching and please come back any day soon.